definitely not a good day to be outside. Day two of Storm Babette, and it's not getting any better. So anyway, as the storm rages outside, I thought I'd do a bit of a classic unboxing. I've had a couple of gifts donated from a subscriber, and there's some boxes turned up for parts and bits and pieces that I've ordered. Obviously not sponsored for the parts that I've ordered. I have paid for those. But without further ado, let's get into that, and we'll start with the gifts that a subscriber sent me. Now the first thing I got sent was this. Now this is, if you're not already aware where it is, it's the courtesy light lens and, uh, and part of the unit for the Cortina. Now I think I mentioned in one of the earlier Cortina videos that uh, this particular piece is actually missing. I've just got a hole in the roof lining. So um, that was given to me by, uh, by a certain subscriber. And as well as that, he also gave me this. Now this radio uh, will go in the hole in the dashboard in the Cortina. Uh, the subscriber sent me this, he didn't say um, whether it worked or not. In fact, he said it probably doesn't work, but it really doesn't matter. It's just to fill the hole in uh, in the dashboard for now. It doesn't really matter that it works or not. It's just going to look a whole lot better than uh, having a gaping hole in the dashboard. And it does mean because it's the, uh, the old standard way of doing it, where you've got the separate knobs to the middle bit, I can just slide this in and leave it in there. And uh, whether it works or not, it's still going to look the part while I'm driving around and while the car is parked up. So I'd like to say a huge thank you to Colin. Colin, you know who you are. Thank you so much for donating these to the car. Uh, I'll get those fitted in as soon as I get round to it. Uh, whilst I'm working on getting the car running again after the storm is over and done with. Or well, incidentally, Colin also donated me a huge amount of um, screws and nails, etc., that he no longer needed to help with putting the roof on the garage. They're obviously in the garage and I ain't going out there today to get those back just to show off a bunch of screws and nails that you've obviously <laughs> all seen before. Anyway, on to the next one. Now I was having a look on the internet the other night for uh, bits and pieces for any of the cars I was going to use in the garage and I came across these. Now these would be very handy. So if I can just get this open. I'll show you what's inside this one. Now these things I found, I wasn't actually looking for these, but uh, I did find them. I thought this has come in very handy. But these are a pair of pliers that are used for hose clamps. And you know those uh, hose clamps you get the round ones with the two ears that stick up on a spring that virtually nothing fits and virtually nothing going to, nothing going to, uh, virtually nothing's going to move them. And then when you use a normal pair of pliers, the spring off all over the place when you don't want them to. Now, all you do is, that's the release. So that opens the pliers. Now in here, you insert one end of the spring clip in there. Obviously that adjusts round. And the other end sits in there. And this little lever here is a locking mechanism. It's a bit like a handbrake. So when you squeeze them together, they actually lock in place so you can't get them open so uh, i'll test that later on i think i've got a spring clip kicking about somewhere in the garage when i get back out there so we'll test that later on but uh, i did think they'd come in very handy so i trip myself to those and then as well as that something i was looking for is in this bag here just get this open this looks so easy when other people do it on camera right here now these are a pair of pliers to help with taking door cards off cars without causing any damage to uh, the little plastic attachments to keep them on the on the doors. So that's what uh, that's what these look like. 
when you squeeze the pliers together, you get that. Now, if you know the, the older cars, the older style of cars from the 60s, 70s, 80s and 90s, they all have the door panels that go on with like a little press stud, a little plastic push button thing. And normally when you try and take the door cord off, you either damage the door cord or you break the plastic. But these would just slide behind it like that. And then when you squeeze them, they lift up. And that should hopefully help get the door cord off without causing any damage to the cord or to the little plastic fixings that hold the door cord in place. And the last thing I got was this box that seems to suggest it's got liquid inside. In fact, it has got liquid inside. It's uh, it's antifreeze for the Cortina. So let me just get that open. Right, so in here we should have five litres or a gallon of uh, the old style antifreeze. There we go. Get the box out there. So this is the uh, the proper blue antifreeze for cars of the uh, of the seventies and eighties. That's um, concentrated, so I will need to mix that. But five liters. By the time I've mixed that, that'll be ten liters, and that should be more than enough to fill the Cortina. I haven't been able to find any information on um, how much a two point five SXV six holds in a Cortina. Uh, the Cortina two liter holds approximately seven liters of fluid in the radiator through in the engine, in the cooling system, and the Granada Mark I with the three litre Essex holds about 10 and a half litres of uh, coolant in the cooling system. So if this goes to 10 litres, that should give us enough to fill it and have a little bit left over in case it needs topping up. Right then, that's everything unboxed for now. Now all I've got to do is wait for the weather to clear up and then get outside and make the most of all of this. Thanks for watching this one. See you in the next one. Bye for now.